right everyone is very distraught right now and if you can see behind me there is actually a growing memorial people coming to bring uh, flowers and lighting candles now this is the place where the victim's car crashed after he was shot and i was told that this all started over a blind spot and a near lane change it crushes your heart it just breaks you hugs broken hearts and disbelief i just can't i can't stop shaking and trying to hold it together paul pettigrove surrounded by many all mourning the loss of their son brother and friend alexander john pettigrove or as everyone affectionately called him aj was a typical teen typical 18 year old that was a good boy he just got a job he's looking forward to his future. A future cut tragically short when he was shot and killed a Saturday afternoon in what police are calling a case of road rage. It's a parent's worst nightmare. Police say a car pulled up next to AJ near 67th Avenue in Peoria. There was some type of verbal argument and Pettigrove threw his drink at the car. That's when the man started shooting. I saw the gun right there. Just a quick blur. Sam Luviano Gonzalez was AJ's passenger and was shot in the leg. He says the argument started after AJ almost merged into the shooter's lane of traffic. He's like, I'm going to shoot you, him, and your mama. AJ reacted by throwing him the drink, and the other guy reacted by spraying us with bullets. He says he and AJ were on their way to just get something to eat and can't believe his friend's life was taken over something so small. My life was just flashing right there in my eyes. I was like, this is it. That for me and ages. Now, police are still searching for the shooter who's described as a Hispanic man in his 20s or 30s driving a smaller, older model dark blue SUV. The family has set up a GoFundMe page. We've posted that link on our website. Live in Glendale, Leon Enriquez for Arizona's family.